Hello, today we are going to introduce some chocolate products from three different locations. The first one is Japan. It was a big joy for me when I'm looking for chocolate at the grocery stores and then I finally picked up four products. So let's get started. The first one is called Coffee Beat, which, is, which has been my favorite since when I was a kid. But this package is very special because um, it says it's like special version for Tokyo Olympic. So they should keep selling this for another year, maybe. <laughs> and then, so you can see this tiny um, portion of chocolate, but it's, uh, it's surprisingly coffee shaped chocolate. So, so you can taste a little bit of bitter of coffee and a sweetness of chocolate at the same time. I think it's good for kids to enjoy small portion for their snacks. And the next one is a chocolate called Zellor. So they, according to them, they didn't use sugar. Sounds like really bitter. Yes, it is. But, you know, if you're really conscious about your health, but still, you know, need craving for chocolate, but that's, this chocolate should be yours. So the taste is like, hmm, yeah, bitter, not creamy, but very rich. Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> I can hear the crack like pop. Yeah, because I put it down in the fridge for a long time, so. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so the next one is called Sasha. Sasha sounds like, doesn't sound any meaning, but it's like, it sounds like sophisticated or delicate sound for Japanese. And then they have a normal version of Sasha, but I chose a different version, which is Yuzu, stress flavor. So, yes, and I think it's really Japanese style product because, yeah, see, so this product is made from the many layers of chocolate strings. And then they're using three different types of chocolate. One is a normal one, and then the other one is Yuzu flavored chocolate, and the third one is the white one. Wow. Yes. So it's like very technically advanced, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not big fan of chocolate but still you need something indulgent maybe this one is actually good for you and the last one is called the chocolate um i'm still i still can't believe that this chocolate is made from the normal chocolate snack manufacturer companies so we can buy it on the grocery stores uh, the gross, uh, the quality of the chocolate is actually really, really good. And then the package is also. Yeah, yeah. I saw the Great Taste Award sign. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they have. The design is also nice. I can tell this company put a lot of effort on making this product. This, yeah, this is a little bit big for one bite, but yeah, you can still enjoy the chocolate as much as possible, and then maybe you can enjoy like this, like make it smaller because it's really rich and then very dark, bitter. So I would recommend you enjoy this with maybe some coffee, tea, or whiskey. I think that that would be good pairing. Now we are in Berlin, Germany. I'm taking you to a beautiful chocolate area in the biggest department store in Germany called Kadebe. Um, I want to show you this because I think the experience is pretty unique compared to other retail stores. 
um, you know, they have chocolate from around the world, and yeah, this one is German brand, yeah. and I'm going brand actually, and yeah, so these are my selection. Mm. Well, first up is, well, I don't know if I pronounce it right, Nederweger Massipan Tolken, so Massipan <laughs> cover with chocolate, and I chose this one because I saw it everywhere. And it seems like it's, it's like a must for the souvenir. So I'm I'm not a massive pan fan, so it's not really my favorite. But I saw it everywhere, so I, I guess it's a must here. And they also have different sizes. I I think this is probably one of the smaller those that are bigger too. Mm. It looks like a cake, but it's not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like warm cooking, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have seen this one in the guidebook of Germany. Yeah. Germany. Next one is this one is from um, a cafe brand here, and um, it's hazelnut with white. Which way you can see the black thing? It's a T. Mm -hmm. um, the honest thought for me is that it's not that great. <laughs> it tastes mostly like hazelnut, so I feel like I would just rather buy hazelnut. But um, the white chocolate is not a little not you don't really feel it. And you can't really see the black tea at all, so I think it would be so much better if they infused the black tea in white chocolate. Um, next one is from the brand in Berlin called Sabaji, and is raspberry covered with chocolate. Wow, sounds nice. Mm. Mm, I think, I'm not sure, but I think that the raspberries are freeze-dried. Oh! Mm -hmm. And it's really good. I, I think this one is probably one of my favorites. It's really good. Yeah, so shiny. Yeah, shiny. Yes. <laughs> Very well balanced taste between the two. Which one is your favorite? Uh, maybe the dark chocolate. Mm. Mm. Wow, this looks amazing. One, this one, yes, yeah, is very interesting. So there is um, like truffles inside, and they, the truffles are three flavored. So it's one with um, gin lemon and rum and then beef beer. So um, the packaging does not have any information so I had to match the truffle and flavor myself. Um, to be honest, it was not that easy to distinguish between rum and beer but maybe it's just me, I don't know. But, um, but anyhow, it's great, I love it. Oh, that's why the, the package looks like a bar, liquor barrel. Mm. Yes, exactly. I think this is a good souvenir and very cute too. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good. I should have met them so many times. <laughs> I think this is also good for whiskey pairing or wine, maybe. Yes, true. Wow, you had a lot. <laughs> yes, it's really good. So I'm like, I just cannot. And so because um, I was kind of confused as well with um, the flavor. So um, yeah, so I 
still trying to figure out. And yeah, basically I finished it while figuring out which flavor is which. <laughs> <laughs> well, this should be lemon. Oh, yes. The lemon one is easy to distinguish. It's in there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the beer and rum, is they are just bitter and I don't know which one is which. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So um, this last one is also from the previous brand, the same brand. They are um, champagne truffles. Mm, sounds nice. <laughs> so can you feel the champagne from the chocolate? Yes, really a lot. Like it's super bitter this one. I I don't know. I think that I would still it is really good and creamy, but I think I would still prefer the previous one. Like if I have to buy. Mm. Okay, the last stop is Singapore. Um, we don't have, we probably don't have as much as nice as uh, Japan, Germany. But the first one is Milo, which is a really popular drink in Singapore. And uh, yeah, so Milo also have a chocolate here. You can see some um, uh, Milo flavor inside. Yeah. Mm. I love my love so. Mm -hmm. The second one is from TWG and uh, mm. really popular tea brand from in Singapore. And yeah, I just chose the six small chocolate pieces from the the, the big variety of options. This is very good. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Yeah, TWG is printed. <laughs> yeah, the second one is also from TWG. So, um, but this is actually not. Um, this is mooncake, which is uh, I think Chinese tradition in uh, this season, maybe uh, August to September. Mm -hmm. So, and usually there is no. Sorry, mooncake doesn't include any chocolate, but this is a chocolate flavor mooncake. Like you can see this, uh, yeah, black color. Is dark chocolate one? Uh, yeah, but it's only ah. the, yeah, the cover is black chocolate, but inside is uh, um, yeah, some I think the red bean paste and the mandarin orange. Uh, I want to try this one. Yeah, yeah you it can looks see like uh, brownies yeah. to me, but yeah. <laughs> uh, this is really dense. Yeah, um, yeah, it's really nice. I like it. Can we buy this one anytime? It's, it's not uh, only... I'm not really sure, but probably in, only in the mooncake season. Okay. Yeah. And the last one is the bubbly tea bowl. Um, this is actually not the chocolate. Yeah, this is from Taiwan, the, uh, the center of center of uh, bubble tea. Bubble tea. But it's, it's like it's chocolate, and I think the the bubble covered with some brown sugar. You can see the bubble, not the chocolate inside. Yeah. So. How do you, how do you like it? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Uh, goodbye and see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye.